We have two wins more than they expected us to get, but let's see if we can make it free today in our final game for Nottingham Forest. Welcome back, guys. Son of Scotland, and it's the Nottingham Forest FIFA 23 career mode for one more episode, one last episode. Yes, I am retiring from Nottingham Forest. I'm handing in the notice, guys. Look, got a brand new next-gen console, playing FIFA 23 on that, just don't really feel the need to play on the old gen anymore, so yeah, there'll be lots more career modes coming to the channel, there'll be lots more FIFA content on the next-gen coming, but as for the old gen, we're going to go out here, we're going to say bye-bye, we're going to say au revoir, but we're hopefully going to do it in style, and we're hopefully going to do it with a big, big win, three points against New Money, Newcastle, I call them new money because let's be honest, they don't have any money. They don't have any. They don't have anything. No fans. Well, I'm not gonna lie. They don't have fans. Like that's a lie. But they don't have. They don't have any history. They don't have any success. No trophies. And all of a sudden, they get this. You know, chic money. And we're supposed to pretend that they're the greatest thing ever. Well, I don't pretend that. They're not the greatest thing ever. And I'm hopefully going to beat them today. Now we currently have nine points. We are three ahead of Fulham. We are one ahead of Southampton, and we're one behind Crystal Palace. What I would like to do in my final game in charge of um, Nottingham Forest is to take them at the relegation zone. Now, we can do that with a win. A draw wouldn't be enough due to goal difference. Obviously, it depends on what Palace do. If Palace win their game today against Bournemouth, then it doesn't matter when lose or draw. We're going to remain in the bottom three. But that's what I would like to do. I would like to get another win here, and I would like to take the club up to 17th. Then I can leave with my head held high, and I can say, well, you know what? As bad as this team is, as shite as this team is, as much injuries we've had to key players, at least I left them outside of the drop zone. So yeah, that's what I want to do. Will we do it though? I don't know. Sometimes in life you do not get what you want, but we'll find out if we can get what we want right here, right now. Uh, again, Dennis is still injured. Our two main strikers we've had injured for the majority of the season. No surprise that we've struggled so much. We'll put Johnson up front though. Uh, in terms of other players... Lingard looks like he can come back, so we'll get Lingard into the team, and then we will maybe play, who else can we play, maybe Scott McKenna in his final game, we'll get Scott McKenna on the pitch, uh, why not, Scott McKenna can come in for Nikati, we've got Warrell as the captain, Aurier, Lodi, Fuller, Mangala, Gibbs, White, Johnson, and uh, will we make room for, maybe play Gibbs, White up front, <laughs> actually, hold on, can we put Gibbs, White up front, and aye, we'll do that, so it's going to be Lingard, Awoni, and Gibbs, White. That's it. This is it. This is the team. Right, we're taking on Newcastle. They've got Paul Dumas on defence, so we should be able to... I think we should be able to take care of them. What's the plan, anyway? Let's see what happens. I mean, win, lose, or draw, let's just go in a high. But let's not lose. You know, fuck it. That's, that's negative. Win, lose, or draw. Draw or win. Simple as that. One of those two. It's like playing rock, paper, scissors. You don't want to lose. And obviously, <laughs> we don't want to lose, so... Yeah, let's... If we, if we tie, then so be it. But we're looking for the win. Oh, I've caught him from behind. My God, that was in the wee training thing there. Well, that would have been a big yellow card coming, flying our way. But here we go. Ball is going to get lifted for the 10th million time. We've got Derek Ray and Stuart Robson on commentary one last time as well. And we'll see how they get on then. It's got Chris Wood, the, uh, the New Zealand international. £20 million Newcastle paid for this guy. What a waste of money. As he attempts to go on a solo run. Seriously, how bad does he think we are if he's trying to do a solo run? be the halfway line and take it past all 11 players of us. That's how bad we are. Horia just runs out of play. It was fucking horrendous for Horia. Right, chase him down. Tiger. Oh, he slotted that through. Jolington was there. Didn't get to it. A good tackle though for Bolly. Bolly's Bolle been good for us this season. He, he has been the standout yeah, centre-back. Cannot lie, he's been really, really good. Mangala. And that's just not good. But Mangala will win the ball back and it's going to... Yeah. Say wins it, but he does kind of win it back, but he concedes the throw in at the same time. So, I mean, do we really win it back or <laughs> do we still lose possession of the ball? You tell me. All right, here we go. Bolly. Oh, he's all over his defender. McKenna needs to do something. It's so oh, great for here, but we've got a man down in the middle. Oh, that's another great tackle. It's another poor clearance. It's a block, and Newcastle's trying to get away through, but we're saying no. And now. It's Lingard, and Lingard, can Jesse Lingard do? Plays it out to Lodi, Lodi, in towards Lingard again. Lingard takes a nice wee touch, Lingard opens up his body. And, um, yeah, he's not going to open up the scoring with that shot. I can guarantee you that, man. Awful shot there for Jesse Lingard. Should have been better. 
don't know why it was so bad, but it was bad. 100% was bad. All right. Here we go, Guimaraes. Jolington. It's through to Guimaraes. Again, we could be in a bit of trouble. He's chipped the goalie. And that's, that's a good finish. I, I can't take it away from him. He is, he's done his in there big time. He has done his in. Is that Shelby in the middle controlling the game? Fuck me. See, when you're in a game and you're getting controlled by John Joe Shelby, 55 fucking Shelbys, man. I mean, what is that all about? Why is John Joe Shelby ruining our last game in charge here of Nottingham Forest, man? Make it make sense, because to me, it doesn't make much right. Jesse Lingard. Thriller. Ball played it to Scotty McKenna. McKenna then will look for Awoni. Awoni into the path of Lingard. Lingard finds Awoni again. Awoni from distance. And it's saved by the Pope. Well, not the Pope. Nick Pope. Not the actual Pope. Nick Pope touches balls. <laughs> the, the other Pope, he touches all kind of balls, man. But uh, we're not going there. All right, Lodi. Gibbs White. Thriller. It's Lingard again, edge of the box. Jesse Lingard. Oh, what a goal. What a goal. It's a shame that we've arguably scored our best goal in our final game, but you know what? It's not too late. It's a goal that gets us back on level terms. It could be a goal that gets us a result today. Jesse Lingard. Pick it out, son. Lovely strike. I'll see it again here. Oh, it was good play, though. Took much space as well. And then Lingard was like, I'm having that. And after post as well. Jesus. Goalkeeper. Hope's no saving that. No matter how much he prays. Was it did it take a deflection? No, it didn't. It was just a great strike. Fantastic. 1-0. Oh, I wish it was 1-0. It's one each. Anderson. Scottish international. Oh, no. That's shite for us. Great block, though. Fantastic. Uh, Julington's going to try and get to it. And Warrell. Big Warrell there just takes the ball away from him. Like taking candy for a baby. Now it's Aurea. Aurea, son, where are you going? We've won it back through Lingard. But then Lingard gets tackled from behind. Should have been maybe a free kick, in my opinion. But obviously not given. And now... This is dangerous. It's, it's, oh, great save. And the referees give a penalty against Scott McKenna. Again, I don't think that's a penalty, man. He gets his shot away. We're not affecting his shot. We clatter into him after, like, don't get me wrong, but... Yeah, look at that. He's not happy, is he? And it's going to be Wood against Henderson. Oh, and Wood puts the top ends. Oh, there's an injury to Almiron as well. We've done, hard. We've done well there to get ourselves back in the game. Get the scoreline back to 1-1. And then before you know it, it's all gone, it's all done, it's finished. And we find ourselves again chasing another goal to get back on level terms. Aurea, Gibbs White, Gibbs White, oh no, Gibbs White tackled from behind. Don't know, I think, is it Crystal Palace? I think they play tomorrow. So even if we win the day, we might not stay at the relegation zone, but we will momentarily move out. So, I mean, this is a big, big game for us. No, it's Wood. Again, he got the penalty. He's going. Oh, he's t he's killing our defenders. Hey, right, Warrell, that's good. I tell you what, Chris Wood, man, we should not be allowing Chris Wood to do that to us. Have some self-respect, guys. The guy's fucking pish. He's making us look like dog meat. Right, pull it to Awoni. Awoni, if you distant, nice. Awoni finds the bottom bins, and that's two good strikes. No fails. First one was from Lingard. The second one is from Awoni, and uh, yeah, the PSV fans are celebrating. Well, not PSV, Nottingham Forest. That's my other failed career mode. Apologies, guys. Apologies. Too many failed career modes to remember all these names. But anyway, yeah. I only picked the ball up. And uh, he just drilled it low, kept it low. Keep up. Couldn't do anything about it. And uh, that gets us back on level terms for the second time in this game. It's now Nottingham Forest 2. Newcastle 2. I'm beginning to feel like we can do something. I'm beginning to feel like, you know, life isn't so shite after all. <laughs> we're, we're, we're not that bad, you know. We're... We're doing okay. And that's it, guys. Referee will blow here for half time. And it's going to be 2 2 at the break. Arsenal are currently drawing 0 0 with Manchester United. So interesting to see uh, that scoreline there. But uh, we're all focused on this one, guys. It doesn't really matter what happens in those other games. We just need to make sure that we win this against Newcastle. I mean, a draw would be alright. If we got a draw, I'm not going to go home and cry my eyes to sleep. But if we got a defeat, I might do that. Right, ball played to Awoni. Awoni then looking for Fuller. Fuller, oh, ball up to Gibbs White. Gibbs White, lovely touch. Oh, follies it, and it's straight into the hands of the keeper. But it was great. It was great. Apart from the fact that we didn't score, that was great. 
John Joe. Anderson. Back to John Joe. These two passing about pretty well now. We'll try to put in a tackle. We've not made the tackle now. It's a chance. And oh, Bolly. Oh, it's McKenna. Oh, brilliant. I don't know who that is, but it's a I think it was McKenna, actually. Yeah, it was Scott McKenna. Lovely sliding tackle. And now we're trying to force them out of play. And we do, but we concede the corner while doing it. John Joe to Shelby then. Coming over to take this set piece ball into the box. It's headed towards goal. And it's saved. By Dean Henderson, right, okay, we're going to bring on Yates, Richard Yates is coming on, I don't know if that's his first name, but I'm going to call him it, why not, I'm only his manager for another 30 odd minutes, I can call him whatever the fuck I want, so and now it's John Joe Shelby, tell you what, if he concedes any goals, I'll be calling him a lot worse, but this could be a chance to counter, oh no, we've got the ball stuck underneath us, Anderson again, it's Gumeres, McKenna's forcing him wide, can we maybe see another corner, Coming up. Oh no, it's a slide in. We didn't get this. We need to get this. We need to do something. We haven't done anything. And it's low die again this time. Crucial block, right? Let's go. Jesse Lingard. Lingard has fallen out of favourite Man United. He used to be a big fan favourite. <laughs> now the fans pretty much despise him. Maybe not as much as Jason Greenwood, but they still don't like him. And now it's a chance here. Ball up to Oriel. Back post cross. It's coming in. It's not, it's not quite where we need it to go yet, so. Still has possession, Fruller. Lingard shoots. Oh, and it's blocked. But if that went in, if it went in, we're holding on to that F. Big F, Fruller. Again, Awoni now. Out to Lodi. Lodi still with the ball. Oh, Lodi looking to come forward. Now it's Fruller again. Fruller. Oh, Fruller tried to lay it after Yates. And the pass was just pure pish. There's no other words to describe it. Oh, my God. Speaking of pish, John Joe Shelby's got the ball. John Joe Shelby. Oh, we've got the block, though. Crucial block, but it's still through anyway. Chris Wood. It's great tackle. And we hold on. Now Scott McKenna is charging forward. McKenna looking for... Um, I don't know who he's looking for. Did he find anybody? We're, we're giving the ball away here. This is poor for us. Very poor. Oh, it's another good block, though. I'll tell you what. We're holding on. We're doing our best. Right, McKenna again this time. McKenna to Fruller. Ball to Jesse Lingard. Lingard will sit on it. You'll look to find Joe Worrell. On the other side, Waddle now finds Yates. Got Yates now looking for Lodi. Oh, nice wee dink over there for Lodi. Back to Lodi. And what can he do? Lodi. Ball's behind him, but he manages to bring it down. It's against Trippier. He looks for a cross. He's got Gibbs White in there, but Gibbs White can't get to it. And now Fuller's going to come in, and he can't get to it either. But, oh, big Richard Yates wins it. Richard Yates now. Richard Yates. Yates, 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 Yates. Yates loses the ball. He goes down in a heap. I think he brings a Newcastle player down with him in eight minutes. Oh, no. Yates has stayed down. Yates is done. It's all over for Yates. He's laying there. And he's not in a good situation. And now it is Woods. Wood. Still, oh, no. Do not concede here. We've been so good defensively in the second half. Is it all going to come to an end, though? It might. Oh, no. It's a good tackle, right? Come on. Fuller. Yeah, we've got a minute to rescue a win here. Can we do it? Ball played out. It was going to fall for us, but a bit fortunate there. Oh, we gave it away again. What the fuck are we doing? A minute he had it on time. Can't do anything with a minute. That's it. Game over then, isn't it? It's going to end a draw. And the referee gives a free kick. I'm not quite sure why. We clearly won the ball there, but the referee wants to cheat us. Out of a potential win and counter-attack, then you know what? That's entirely up to him. Just take care of this. Head of this away, guys, and we will get a point. It's as simple as that. Get away. That's it. Point is in the bag. Clear it up. Gibbs White has the ball now. And that's it. Referee blows. For full time, guys. Our final game in charge of Nottingham Forest didn't end in a win. Didn't end in a defeat. It ends in a boring draw that doesn't really do much for anybody. But you know what? I thought we played all right. Uh, going forward, we created some chances. And defensively in that second half, we were, we, were, we were brilliant. I thought we stuck our bodies on the line. And in the end, that, that got us a point. I wanted to win. I wanted to move at the relegation zone. It wasn't to be. But uh, who knows? Maybe that point in the end, coming in the season could keep Nottingham Forest up. It, that could be a massive point. So what we'll do is we will now simulate to the end of the season. I am stepping down as of right now. I've just told the board, look, I'm no longer the manager. Uh, I'll sit in the stands and support the team um, as a fan. You know what I mean? I'll do that. But uh, I will not be managing this club another second longer so we're going to currently have a quick look at league table 
I know we're 18th, but we'll look anyway. I'm pretty sure we're 18th. We could actually be 19th. No, we're 18th, so there you go. Uh, 10 points. So we're on the same points as Palace. They do have a game in hand. So what we're going to do is we're going to simulate to the end of the season. We're stepping down, and we'll see if the new manager can keep Nottingham Forest afloat or if they will end up going down. So, yeah, I'm hoping they stay up. It'd be nice to see them do it. I mean, we've still got another. Look at these look at these fixture lists, man. You've got West Ham, Everton, Spurs, Fulham. Shitload of games there. You know, Man City. It's, all, it's almost like every game is a tough game, man. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> I mean, look at this month right here, April. You've Liverpool, Arsenal, Chelsea, Everton, West Ham. That's fucking bullshit, man. That's it. I mean, who 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 invented that? You know what I mean? That's like what the hell? But yeah, let's see, let's see what we have in store then for the team in our final little run. So our first game out of the club it was a three-one defeat to West Ham. So maybe they need to get me back in. We have a horrible record against London sides in this career mode. Uh, you see, we 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 lost to Spurs, we lost to Chelsea, we lost to Arsenal, then we lost to West Ham. I mean, you could argue the reason why we've got a bad run against London clubs is because most London clubs are pretty good. But still, I'm, I'm not happy with us losing so many games. Uh, a 3-1 defeat to Everton. I tell you what, maybe they need to beg me to come back because these results are getting progressively worse. 3-0 to Spurs. Wow, I've left. Since I've left the club, they've uh, lost their last three games in a row. That is insane. Uh, Fulham. I know a London club, can they get, I think I beat Fulham, did I not beat Fulham earlier in the season? Can they get a win over Fulham? Tell you what, they need it. Oh, I didn't even get to see it. I'm going to go and have a look here. Let's see if we did beat Fulham. I want to go and check. Did we beat Fulham? Why is the game taking so long to load? I want to see if we beat Fulham. Let me go back. Oh, got, they got a point. So, I mean, <laughs> point's not great, but it's better than nothing, right? Um, I feel like in terms of points here, Southampton and Palace, if Nottingham Forest are going to stay up, they probably need to pick up like four points from those two games. If they can get six, then brilliant. But, uh, you know, they cannot keep losing here. 1-0 win in the Cup against Blackpool. I mean, that's nice. Getting into the next round of the Cup, getting a further run there. So we'll see if they can go on, maybe lift some trophies, lift some silverware. Tell you what, I don't think they'll be lifting anything against Manchester City. They'll be lifting their pride off the ground, I think. Probably going to be like, oh, I only lost 2-1. Surprised about that. I was expecting like a 5-0 or 6-0 score there, but no. Southampton now. Can they pick up a win against Southampton? They can. That's exactly what they need. 2-0. Big 2-0 win there against the Saints. Now we have Watford away in the cup. What can Watford do? Watford. Oh, 2-1 win. There you go. Back to back wins now. Maybe that's Nottingham, the Nottingham Forest Revival. Is on. It is on. Crystal Palace up next now on Saturday. Away from home. Can they make it three wins in a row? It'd be tremendous if they do. Oh my shitty god, they have. Wow. Okay, let's have a quick look at the league table then, because that's two wins in the league. That must move Nottingham Forest up, surely. Plus, it's against teams that they were, you know, close to in the league as well. But they're about to leave now. It's about to... Get into February. Transfer window is going to end. Let's look at the league table. Let's see what um, Nottingham Forest are doing then. I mean, well, those six point no, so actually not. They're still in the bottom six. That's strange. They've actually fallen further behind. When we left the club, they were level on points with Crystal Palace, and now they're okay. They've pulled ahead of the teams below them. They've done that, but in terms of yeah, the teams above them now they're three points off of safety. So. Uh, they can still do it, don't get me wrong. Forest can still survive this. They can they can still stay in the league. But, yeah, they might need to start picking up better results now. Now we move into February. Let's see what February has in store. Uh, if only three... You know what? We'll, we'll skip two months ahead now because there's, there's only... For some reason, there's only three games over the next two months. Maybe there's cup games to be added or something. I don't know. I do not know. But Aston Villa, Wolves and Man United. Three home games. You'd, I don't know, what would you expect? Would you expect to get... Uh, you'd expect to pick up at least some points. I mean, you are at home. Although losing 3-2 to Aston Villa isn't a great start to those trio of matches. So. I see Man United at home. It's a 2-1 defeat to Man United. So it's not good there. Two home games, two defeats. Now it is Wolves. Can they beat Wolves? 
If they don't beat Wolves, then you know they're in a bit of trouble. Or they do beat Wolves, okay, that, that could be a massive win. It could be a massive three points. Now it is away to Brighton, Bournemouth, then Leicester. I feel like these are winnable games. Okay, maybe not. 4 1 defeat. <laughs> then Brighton, Hove, Albion. I mean, that's nah, man. Right, Bournemouth. Bournemouth are struggling. Bournemouth are struggling. Ah, they did beat Bournemouth. I thought that. I thought that Bournemouth would be a win. All right, let's see then. Leicester City. Um, I'm expecting a defeat here, but you never know. Leicester's like really inconsistent. You know, sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not so good. Wow, they lost 3 0. Great, 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 great win there for Nottingham Forest. I wasn't expecting that. I, I, could, I could see a world where Forest won, yeah, definitely, but I wasn't expecting a big, uh, big scoreline like that. Alrighty, so uh, we'll have a look at the league table now. Those two wins hopefully will do something for Forrest. Um, should move them on to 26 points, but I don't know what that really does in, comp you know, in, in terms of the overall league. It moves them at the relegation zone, so interesting. Newcastle's just went to absolute shit. Newcastle's... Wait, have Newcastle lost points? Last time we checked this, Newcastle were on 22... I could have swore Newcastle were on 22 points. Have Newcastle been deducted points? Deducted points for having shite owners? Maybe that's it, I don't know. Anyway, we'll keep on skipping it. Uh, one point ahead of Brentford, and five points ahead of Newcastle United. That could be crucial. That could be crucial. I think Nottingham Forest are going to do it. They're on 26 points, eight games to go. I've got a funny feel, although the, 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 next, uh, the, the, the next fixture list is fucking is horrible. We, we, can't, we can't deny that. I mean, the next five games, look at that. Liverpool, Arsenal, Chelsea, Everton, West Ham. This could be five defeats on the bounce. It really could be. I mean, they've, they've kicked off with um, a 2-3 defeat to Liverpool. So let's see. Arsenal, 2-2 two, two draw. Got Chelsea now. What can Chelsea do? That draw against Arsenal is a great result, though. Ah, 5-0 defeat to Chelsea. That's more like it. That's the kind of score lines I was expecting. All right, Everton and uh, West Ham up next. I mean, yeah, you can get stuff for these games, but going both are much bigger clubs. Everton, draw, and now it's West Ham. What will they get against West Ham? West Ham is... I didn't even get to see it, guys. I don't know. Was that a win? Was that a draw? Nobody will fucking know. All right, Newcastle now. This could, oh a draw. That's probably that's probably good enough. I think if you lost to Newcastle, then you'd be panicking. But I mean, it all depends on what Newcastle been doing over the last eight games. If Newcastle been winning games, then I think Forest are in trouble because Forest have yet to win. Oh, and then they pick up a big win against Leeds. That that could keep them in it. That could be a win that keeps them in the league. I don't know if we need to beat Brentford to stay up, but may as well end it on a high. Go for it. End it on a bloody high, guys. Let's do it. I think a win... I can't. I don't know the league table, but I think a win would definitely keep them in the league. A win should definitely keep them in the league. And they do get a win. Okay. We'll go and check it, guys. I can't imagine that... I cannot imagine for the life of me that Nottingham Forest have went down. I think they've ended up on, like... Oh, my God. Look at the manager rating. It's, like, dangerous. I think they've ended up on, like, what, 33 points or something like that. Oh, 36 points. So there you go. Um, yeah, in the end then, Nottingham Forest finished 16th, and it's Fulham, Brentford and Southampton going down. So, yeah, was I bad for Forest? Was I good for Forest? I'd like to think that I set the foundations, you know, I, I did pick up a couple of wins at the start of the season, but I think it is fair to say that Nottingham Forest, they did get better once I left, so, I mean, yeah. Did they sign anybody? We'll have a quick look at the team. Did they sign anybody in January? No, I don't think so. No, they didn't. Okay. So they, had, they kept the same team. Maybe they just managed to keep their two main strikers um, injury-free because we couldn't do that. Maybe if we did do that, we'd have picked up more wins. But that's it, guys. The Nottingham Forest cream has come to an end. And uh, we survived relegation, partly due to me guiding the club at the beginning of the season and then partly due to me leaving the club and letting them pick up more wins at the end of the season. So anyway, that's it, guys. I appreciate all the love, all the likes, all the comments, all the subscriptions on this save. It's not the end of FIFA. I will be doing a couple of new career modes on the next gen. Uh, the PS5, FIFA 23, there'll be a couple of career modes coming out. And I'll also maybe be doing some, you know, some random FIFA feds. 
Maybe doing some ultimate team. I don't know if we'll do an ultimate team series, but we might do some like one off random ultimate team feds. Maybe like some challenges, stuff like that. Maybe recreating squads. Maybe making up squads from like, you know, the best of a, maybe take a couple of nations or something like that and combine them and try and make the best team that we can. I don't know, but look, there'll be loads of content coming to the channel. So make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you stay subscribed. I'll catch you in the next one. And I'm actually happy that Nottingham Forest managed to stay in the top flight of the English division. So great to see you guys. I would consider this career mode pretty successful. Look, you can say what you want, but when I left, when I left the club, you know, we were not technically in the relegation zone because we were level on points with the team in 17th. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm taking some credit for keeping Nottingham Forest up here. Anyway guys, that's it. I'll catch you in the next one. Been some Scotland any. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later. And until then, peace.